breaking news in the trial of Charles Pugh, the former president of Detroit City Council. 7 Action News reporter Jonathan Carlson is live downtown where the case against Pugh has just gone to the jury. Jonathan. Joanne, good afternoon. We are on verdict watch at this hour. This after about an hour and a half of closing arguments, strong closings from both the defense and the plaintiff's side. Now, the jury has seen one week of testimony. A jury of 10 men and women will determine the damages. The plaintiff is asking for 1.5 million, but again, the jury can decide how much uh, they want to award if they do uh, rule in favor of the plaintiff. Now, uh, the plaintiff argued today that this case is about power. Pew didn't have the nerve to come and face his accuser in court. He regrets getting caught. He committed a series of lies and deceit. The plaintiff doesn't get to flee to New York City like Charles Pugh did and start over. The defense argued simply the case is about two men, two grown men. There was no intent to harm, just to fulfill sexual desires. And the plaintiff is not a victim, the defense says. Now, it's anyone's guess how long this jury will deliberate. They uh, haven't shown any emotion during this trial in the jury box, so it's sort of unclear which way this may head. They have a lot to sit on, and we will, of course, be here and keep you posted. For now, we're live downtown. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. Jonathan